from the global resources of Veterans Media Services. This is Veterans Newsline with Dave Riva. All right, joining me today is Tom Voss from uh, the Dry Hooch Organization, and of course we're here at the uh, Warrior Run, is it, uh, Tom? Um, Warrior Spirit Run, yeah. Ra Warrior uh, Spirit Run. Tom, can you tell us a little bit about the event today? Uh, well, what we had set up was basically a, uh, a 5K run, uh, run walk for uh, raising uh, funds for an elevator for uh, disabled veterans um, uh, that that come to uh, Dry Hooch. For the Dry Hooch program. And tell us a little bit about Dry Hooch itself. What that? Uh, Dry Hooch is a uh, nonprofit organization um, run by veterans. It was founded by Vietnam veterans. And the uh, idea behind it was to uh, provide programming for uh, veterans, uh, free programming that they can take advantage of on, um, on a peer support level. Okay, and uh, this is all located over on Brady Street, I right, understand? Right, 1030 East Brady Street. 1030, and folks can stop in. It's kind of got a coffee shop uh, right, type right. of uh, we have atmosphere. A, yeah, we have a uh, coffee shop open to the public, and um, it's just a great place to uh, come in and uh, talk to some veterans. Okay, and if folks want to find out more about the Dry Hooch organization, how can they go about doing that? Uh, they can go to uh, dryhooch.org. Dryhooch.org, and for those that might be watching our show today who don't have a computer or don't get into computers, is there any kind of a, a phone number, or maybe you can uh, blurt out the address or something? Um, you can um, stop by 1030 East Brady. Um, I, we can um, probably get, get you the, uh, the phone number, and uh, you can probably post that. Okay, very good. Well, thank you again for Anthony, joining I'm us today. I'm one of the uh, employees at Dryhooch and helped organize this run. Um, I want to take a moment to thank all of you for showing up. We really appreciate the support. I also wanted to thank um, our employees from, or excuse me, our volunteers from Coles that helped with registration. Uh, we really appreciate that. Um, all of you for all of you for coming out here. We've only been planning this for two months, so thank you all for supporting all of us for coming out, making this such a great event. Thank you very much. All right, I'll uh, make this quick. Um, I'd like to thank, uh, first off, uh, Lowell Schottfeld, he's a volunteer uh, EMT today. Also, uh, Dusty Bolmar, who is uh, documenting this. Um, secondly, I'd like to uh, thank the uh, UWM OT, OT Occupational Therapy students. If you guys could just raise your hands real quick, I don't know who they are. Thank you. They, uh, they helped us uh, promote this, and uh, you guys did a great job. Thank you. Um, also, I'd like to uh, thank the uh, students of uh, University School of Milwaukee. If you guys can raise your hands. Thank you guys. They, uh, they raised over $1,000 for us, so that's, that's great. Thanks. Um, I'd like to introduce uh, a guy who's uh, played a pivotal role in uh, Dry Hooch. Uh, he's a Vietnam veteran, and uh, his name's Joe Campbell. I can't thank you enough. We are doing this for our veterans and their families and their loved ones. The tremendous stress and trauma that our veterans are going through, we need to help them in any way possible. And by doing this, we show our love and support. You know, for many of us, it's been said that the war is over for us now. But we do know that those of us that served, it will always be there for the rest of our lives. And once we accept that, we start getting a better understanding. And then we try to build with what we can, and more importantly, to teach others. Like Chuck Taft from the university school, starting with these young students, letting them know. And the families that brought their children. You know, this is, this is something that one is fun, and it's going for a fantastic cause. The Dry Hooch was started by Vietnam vets who many of you know we were not treated too well when we came home. And that's unfortunate. We can't change that. 
But what we can change, and we are changing, is the fact that we are going to make sure that these young men and women that are serving and have served will never ever go through with what we went through coming back from war. And it's because of people like you that we recognize and feel proud that we served our country, win or lose, we served our country to provide the freedom so we can have the joy and peace that we have here today. Thank you so much. God bless you. You're all winners, but I did win. And, uh, so I turn it back to my brother Tom. Go ahead, Tom. Uh, thank you, Joe. Uh, lastly, I'd like to uh, thank uh, Bob and June Curry and the uh, rest of the Dry Hooch staff for uh, assisting uh, us in uh, getting this off the ground. Dave Ribo reporting for Veterans Newsline, Milwaukee.